LDTs are a significant part of healthcare right now. They do give significant value, um, but shouldn't laboratories have the skills required to develop a molecular test from scratch without the use of RUO or IUO products? Um, all during my career, I used to make all my own reagents and develop all my tests from scratch that were LDTs. And I think that every laboratory should have at least one person on their staff, whether it's the lab director or somebody else that has that ability. Um, LDTs, including those using RUO, are currently validated under CLIA. As other speakers tonight have said, CLIA only requires an analytical validation. They don't necessarily require a clinical validation. CAP is the exception to that. They require both analytical and clinical validation. However, their inspectors, when they go and look at validation and verification files, often overlook proper clinical and analytical validation. Um, also, RUO products are not necessarily manufactured under good manufacturing practices, so you don't really know the quality of the reagent that you're buying or the quality of the software that you're using. So there's some points to consider. Um, what happens with RUO, IUO reagents and kits if you go beyond the draft guidance? So